had a recent question from someone that wanted to know, is the niacin flesh harmful or dangerous? Well, the answer is no, it is not harmful or dangerous. What's happening, you're getting this massive relaxation of the muscles inside your blood vessels. It's called vasodilation. And that's occurring because niacin increases something called prostaglandins. Now, what is a prostaglandin? It's a lipid or fat compound that has a hormone effect. And prostaglandins increase vasodilation. They help reduce blood pressure. It helps blood clotting. It's also involved in headaches and fever. This is why when you take an aspirin, which blocks prostaglandins, and it can reduce a fever. So that's really what's happening when you're getting this flushing red response. Some people don't like it. They think it's going to damage something. Some people like it. I actually like it myself. I like that flushing response, but it's not dangerous at all. The thing you need to know about niacin is that it, therapeutically it's been used over 50 years and it is the most effective natural agent for increasing your HDL, the good cholesterol, by 20 to 40 percent. It also can decrease the LDL, specifically the small dense type, the damaging LDL, and it can has the potential to decrease your triglycerides. Now, of course, if you did the ketogenic diet and you did intermittent fasting, that would help your cholesterol greatly. But if you're concerned about cholesterol, you should be on niacin for sure, but you would have to take higher amounts of it, one to 2,000 milligrams a day. Now, if you take the type of niacin that is non-flushing, it doesn't have those cholesterol-lowering benefits. Now, the other thing that niacin has been proven beneficial for is by reducing schizophrenia. There's some great data on this. I'm going to put some links down below. But niacin has many other benefits, but these are two big benefits. If you haven't seen my other videos on niacin, I'm going to put them up right here. Check them out.